so this is a tutorial on how to create 2d sprite uh, 2d sprites from 3d objects in blender so the first thing we're gonna do is obviously uh, I assume that you have basic modeling skills because you are gonna need an object I, I made an object it's called cube as you can see and I rigged that and I added some bones and I also made an animation for it's it's a basic walk animation now I'm not I'm not very nice uh, uh, I'm not really nice at rigging but this was the best I could do uh, not really it was like took some time but I did it that's not the point here so what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is delete the camera if there is a camera in the scene we're going to delete we're going to delete the camera so both the next thing we're going to do is we're going to press 3 on the numpad or 1 on the numpad depends to enter orthographic mode because I assume you're going to use those to make platformers or 8-way games so we're gonna enter into orthographic mode and then you shift and middle click to uh, move around now if you ever uh, forget it you just press home it will be centered back and the next thing we're gonna do is create a camera because that's obvious you're gonna need a camera <clears throat> the next thing we're gonna do is now you can split windows over here but I'm not gonna do that because I don't really do I'm just gonna hold control and I'm gonna take this and uh, position it over here and then of course resize it for my own convenience now resizing a camera will not really change its uh, will not change what it sees now if I press 0 on the numpad it's still gonna look at this small or big it doesn't matter I'm gonna press G on my keyboard and then Z move up a little now the camera is not in orthographic mode so I'm just gonna go to the camera panel over here press orthographic so it's gonna change it to this mode now you are going to control the scale change it a little uh, I think 6.8 is okay or maybe 7 uh, yeah I'm just gonna change it to 7 and then uh, just a little bit of adjustment and uh, there we go now I have a ground here now here's a little tip you see this uh, thing over here my ground is cube dot zero zero one I'm just gonna click on the camera and now when the when this isn't selected this is not going to render when I render the object now I did not add light and I suggest that if you're in blender render you go and you select environment lighting so now if we render this you're gonna get this is what normal sprite sheets look like don't they now I'll just select a random frame and this is one of our frames over here so I'm just gonna go back to frame one and now here is the main part now uh, when you're at the camera panel and when you uh, you're gonna see this panel called dimensions so there's gonna be this resolution thing here this is the width and this is the height 1920 into 1080 and this little slider is the percentage scale for render resolution you can read that kind of so basically if I choose 10% over here and if my actual scale is 1920 and 1080 the thing that is actually going to be rendered is going to be 192 into 108 which is 10% of this so and uh, you, you you must have noticed the anti-aliasing over here you're gonna be 
changing that later now if we render this this is what we're going to get a little pixelated if you notice <clears throat> now that is because anti-aliasing smoothens out the edges if we turn this off and then if we render this is what we're going to get a little pixelated isn't it sure is now if I change this to 3 percent this is what I'm going to get if I look at a random frame this is what I'm going to get now this if you want some very nice pixel art I suggest you just learn some and create some manually but this is a very nice uh, this is something you can do if you are good at modeling but not good at 2D art like I am. Now you can further f fiddle with this to 64. 64. I'm gonna render 100%. And then I'm gonna change this. 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 Oh, I'm just gonna change this scale. Sorry for the inconvenience. If I render this, this is pretty pixelated over here. Uh, I think I'm just gonna change this to 50%. And this is pixelated art. Now, what you're gonna do is. Uh, uh, you know how to render frames out of animations if not it will tell you normally if you just click animation it's gonna render out PNGs frame by frame images so that's what we're going to use here but what we are going to do is go to the world and uh, the horizon color is going to be a bright purple so now if I render this it's gonna look like this we are going to be using this to our advantage later. <coughs> so now I just uh, I just create a folder in DMP. I'm going to name it tutorial. Then I'm going to save this as frame. So now it's going to be save. Uh, so now the first frame of frame will be saved as frame zero zero zero. Then it's going to be zero zero one. 0, 0, 002003 0, 0, that's how each frame is going to be saved individually as a png now the png is going to be pretty small so now if i press the animate button now that this is done our basic animation is complete thanks a lot for watching this is basically it if you want to learn how to create sprite sheets what's the next part of this tutorial i i did not include it in this because i thought it was necessary so thanks a lot for watching